Hello everybody and welcome back to Playtech TV. I'm your host Kevin and today we're going to be looking at the i5-4690K Devil's Canyon against the CPU it replaces, the 4670K, both from Intel. Now, both of these are Haswell 22 nanometer LGA 1150 CPUs. They're the same thing. The new Devil's Canyon 4690K is just an update, if you will, a refresh. So with this refresh, it can still be used in both Z87 and Z97 motherboards. However, if you're going to be running this Devil's Canyon CPU in a Z87 motherboard, you will need to download a BIOS update. This can be downloaded from your motherboard manufacturer's website if it is supported. Now, they also come with a 100 megahertz bump up on the new Devil's Canyon 4690K over the 4670K, so that means 3.9 gigahertz on turbo mode instead of the 3.8 gigahertz on turbo mode of the 4670K. The thermal interface material has also been improved on the 4690K. This is the uh, thermal material, or the thermal paste between the metal cover and the die of the CPU itself. Now this is reportedly to help bring temperatures down and a lot of people have said it does work very favorably. The 4690K also comes with extra capacitors on the back of the CPU itself. This is to help smooth out the power delivery and allow for better overclocking and just smooth the power to the CPU itself. Now let's get into the benchmarks and see how this new Devil's Canyon 4690K performs against the 4670K, both running at stock speeds. So the test bench we're using is this one right here. It's running a Gigabyte Z97X Gaming G1 motherboard. It's the Black Edition. Uh, G-Skill Trident, 2133 MHz memory. This is our 16 gigs. Corsair H80i CPU cooler, Gigabyte WinForce 780 Ti, Intel 730 series SSD, and powering the rig is a Corsair RM750 power supply. So the first benchmark is Firestrike Extreme. This is in 3D mark at 1440p. The i5 4670K, remember this is running at stock speeds, scored 5,207. The 4690K with that 100 megahertz bump up scored 5,212. So not much difference there at all. Now into Catzilla. This is running at 1080p. The i5 4670K scored 15,872. The i5 4690K scored 15,954. Now, Catzilla again, this time at 1440p. The i7, i5 4670K scored 9,150. And the i5 4690K, Devil's Canyon, scored 9,177. Now I also uh, did a stress test on both of these CPUs, this is a, an Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, and took the highest temperatures they got up to. This is both on the same cooler, the H80i. The highest temperature I saw was 54 degrees Celsius for the Devil's Canyon 4690K, while the 4670K went to 57 degrees Celsius, so even at stock speeds, the uh, 4670K runs 3 degrees hotter and this uh, difference is only going to uh, increase as you overclock and they get hotter and hotter. So in conclusion we can see that the 4690K is just a little bit faster than the 4670K as they're pretty much the same CPU. So who would I recommend the 4690K to? Well if you're thinking about upgrading to the 4670K then I would definitely recommend it over that. It's a sort of updated model, it's just better. And considering there's very little price difference, you may as well get the 4690K. To those of you who already have a 4670K, is there a real reason to upgrade to this new Devil's Canyon? 
Not really. Unless your 4670K is a very bad overclocker, then there's no real reason. You may as well just stay with it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to Playtech TV. And in the comments below, tell us what CPU you're currently running in your gaming rig. I thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.